Hello dear friends, welcome back to the channel Nikhil's Frags and today we are going to discuss about one of the most expensive and sought after raw ingredients in all our perfumes and that is Oud. Oud is also known as agar wood uh, all over the world, also known as aloes wood if you are familiar with, the, with these terms. Uh, why Oud is expensive, why it is supposed to be a magical material which uh, gives more depth and quality to the perfumes. I will explain in the words of the master Roja Dove himself. Uh, there's one of uh, these videos on YouTube that I was watching in which uh, Oud is described, the love for Oud is described by Roja Dove himself. It's a short documentary, I think about six or seven minutes and he is very specific when he says, once you get into the world of Ouds, there's no coming back. Because once you have uh, mastered using Oud, as a perfume note or as a single ingredient or as a single uh, perfume note for you uh, you are done with other redundant scents i think that's too much uh, uh, of a statement but yes oud is different i have a diverse taste from what you know i have a lot of bottles in my collection and so many perfumes but oud is one of those which has captured my imagination because it has a really nice development it is kind of magical if I could put it this way it changes and there is so much to the world of Oud that I wanted to make this video just to explain some of the uh, different characteristics of Oud the formulations of Ouds and the different tastes of Oud or different smells of Oud this documentary or this video is going to be a little longer than the usual but my friends once you are through with this video I am sure you would have learned a lot about ouds and you will have no problems in choosing your oud there's an oud for everybody that's what i want to say so first the disclaimer note it's not a note it's what i'll say to you i am not an authority on oud i am not a degree holder or a phd holder in the oud science i'm just another fraghead like you just as passionate and as dedicated to my hobby and I have done a lot a lot of research by venturing into the world of Middle Eastern fragrances buying experience the, the various types various grades going and visiting uh, the various showrooms where Oud is sold uh, as the wooden chips and also in the various formulations as oils and perfumes so this video is definitely going to help you so first we are going to start with the definition of Oud. So what is Oud basically? Oud or agar wood is just literally, uh, you know, another term for wood in Arabic. So Oud is basically wood in Arabic. This term is also used in the Arab world for some of the musical instruments with the, the string musical instruments that they use. They also are uh, known as Oud. So agar wood is basically derived it is a kind of an, on, an antibody that the Aquilaria tree produces. The Aquilaria tree is uh, you know, found in the tropicals or subtropical jungles, very, very tall trees. Uh, it's an evergreen kind of a tree, uh, nearly extinct now as they say, hence it is becoming more and more difficult to access and it is definitely expensive, really, really expensive. And yes, it is actually more expensive than per, per uh, gram per unit weight of gold. Yes, that is the truth, guys. But it all depends on the grades. It's not like every oud that you find on the streets is going to be expensive than gold. So uh, that is the antibody which uh, the, the Aquilaria tree produces against a certain kind of a fungus which covers the tree. And, uh, you know, as it ages, the whole bark of the tree is covered by this pigment this antibody that the tree produces against this fungus to protect itself and you know the more time it takes to do that the aged it becomes it becomes more and more valuable the more and more valuable it will become and this thing is called oud so people they chop off the bark of the tree you know uh, it can be done partially but out of the greed people are now really chopping off the huge trees it's basically smuggling like sandalwood what used to happen in Mysore in India a really sad story but yes this is how uh, this thing works this system works so basically they just chop off a little bit of the bark of the tree and this juice is acquired from there it's 
more of a dry wood kind of a thing not exactly juice as in uh, your luban or frankincense from found in oman and somalia anyway so this uh, bark is chopped off and the oud is extracted out of it oud basically is uh, supposed to be as natural as possible there are, there are also synthet synthetic varieties of oud because oud as a natural ingredient is becoming very difficult to acquire so this oud is processed and there are various formulations of it that come out in the market so it the oil is extracted by the traditional method of steam distillation out of the uh, oud chips or agarwood chips wooden chips uh, and this oil is actually known as dahnal oud so dahnal oud means oil of oud or oil of wood that is what it exactly is but there are various kinds of ouds in the world it is just it is just not limited to oud as a skanky animalic uh, note it is uh, it, it all the the smell of the oud depends a lot on its geographical location on its age and how it is stored these three things are very very important most important thing here is the geographical location of the oud okay so i am going to show you some of the varieties of oud and some of the formulations of oud oud has been used in the arabic culture as incense so that is where how uh, you know that is how uh, oud actually came into existence they use little small pieces of oud little chunks of agar wood they put it and burn it just like you burn frankincense on uh, you know uh, during christmas they burn it they let the smell come out and it is used as a perfume they fumigate the, their clothes the hair and uh, the whole body absorbs the smell of uh, the incense that come out that comes out from burning the oud chips and it gives out a really nice aroma it is more of an uh, you know a natural aroma a natural woody aroma and we uh, being uh, you know part of this nature can appreciate it more yes it is an acquired taste it is not for everybody uh slowly when you drift away into the world of niche perfumes once you are done with designer perfumes and your regular perfumes colognes you tend to uh, you know limit your uh, uh, journey to a certain genre a certain genre of frags uh, and you uh, you know when you are venturing out looking for a perfume you become really fussy it's not the same old story when you go in to a shopping mart and you pick up some of the most popular perfumes it's more like searching searching and there are so many people in the world who are in this uh, industry they will help you out especially the west is doing a really great job and if you are in dubai you can have a blast with the oud so let us uh, now discuss the various formulations of oud all right so oud can be found as pure wooden chips to be used as incense you can find those those are very expensive the price for actual oud or agarwood chips vary uh, from somewhere around hundreds of dollars to millions and millions of dollars for a meager quantity of about uh, say 10 grams or 20 grams the highest variety of it is called as kinam and kinam is really expensive i am going to mention a few links in uh, the video description down below where you can check out these two lovely documentaries you must check out one is sent from heaven by al jazeera a beautiful documentary about ouds and it will really help you in uh, letting uh, in you know uh, educating your own self about oud so next time when you are in the market you know what you are going in for and don't be disappointed Uh, the second one is uh, a channel basically it is called as udi mentry it's some people i think mostly american guys american muslims who uh, have ventured into the world of oud and they have some really nice beautiful videos where they have ventured into the actual um, oud forests it's it's a really educating video so uh, i'll show you the various formulations this one right here is a perfume formulation of oud it is one of the most beautiful niche perfume brands based in uh, uae this is called as abdul samad al qureshi also known as asq this is one of their aged ouds can you see the oud chips inside these are right at the bottom of the pit okay 
these this is aged oud guys and this is known as khasab al oud or bois di oud bois in french means wood so, so this is basically wood of agar wood what they're trying to mention the smell of this is a little boozy it is sweet it's like benzoin it's not the usual animal skanky oud and this is one of the finest ouds uh, you know prepared uh, in the middle east market with a nice hand crystal a hand a hand cut crystal sapphire glass a beautiful perfume so this is uh, most likely a mixture of indonesian and cambodian oud so this is not your usual animalic oud which you will find in something like this this is from the house of ajmal ajmal basically is based uh, in dubai but it is uh, a company which has origins in india india is one of the most uh, you know important importers of oud or agarwood in the market indian oud or hindi oud as we call it is a little skanky very strong it has got a very strong uh, you know animalic woody uh, odor you can say which settles down into a beautiful beautiful uh, woody kind of a note it is different this one is different so these are some of the faces the some of the facets of this very complex entity called oud this one just have a look at this bottle the best part about these perfumes are oud based perfumes from the middle east they come in really exotic exquisite looking bottles it is a very exquisite component my friends in all of the perfumes and this is a mukhallat variety i am going to talk about the variety of ouds in uh, you know somewhere later in the video see the smell is totally different this is animal like skanky something like civet but not as annoying as civet civet is a limited kind of a note this is this is something which changes its course over you know time on your skin a beautiful composition um, composition from the house of ajmal and this is a must keep uh, or a must try in the diary of every oud lover it comes in a beautiful presentation then we have some uh you know some indonesian oud this is green oud my friends green oud is basically something like a citrus a velvety vetiver a citrus kind of kind of a note uh, which is not typically skanky this is not skanky oud it is one of the most pleasant kind of agarwood scents that you're going to smell and uh, i i don't have a bottle of this i have ordered for a bottle it will be coming soon because it is Uh, the most complimented oud in all of my collection this is something by the house of rasasi yes rasasi makes clones this is not a clone this is from their luxury line it is expensive this is boros asrar boros asrar indonesia boros is the name of the range so you can search boros.com and you will get all the various uh, you know kind of perfumes that they have brought out in this range this is asrar indonesia this is pure indonesian oud and uh, this is very green very clean and it will get you compliments because it is uh, you know something which projects really well and it does the work of oud very well with other notes something uh, now by the western house is one of the most reputed um, one of the most reputed nose in uh, perfume industry and this is a wonderful perfume by the nose Sergio Momo the guy behind Zerjo of Suspiro and now Alchemia or also known as Kemi this is Zerjo of Uden okay this is a kind of a you know a traditional and a western scent something like an occidental version of oud this is one of the most popular offerings by him and also there is Kemi there's Kemi Hayat there's Kemi Jabir uh, Uh, which which is selling selling really well and for a very very huge price my friends and that is absolutely beautiful i have both of those and i absolutely love them this asrar indonesia i would say is uh, like you know a more stronger or a more potent version of kemi hayat and a beautiful perfume then we have some other uh, formulations of oud this Okay this is the alternative to bakhur so when you burn the chips of oud it is called as bakhur bakhur is the type of uh, 
ud chip that you you know ud chips that you buy and you directly burn it that is called as bakur in its most natural form this is a more like a synthetic version or an alternative to burning the precious wood this is a portable i have a box with me this is from the house of ajmal it comes like incense or dhoop as we call it in india okay i'll show you exactly how it looks it is uh, a very beautiful strong alternative to something like oud this is like frankincense sticks that we uh, burn here in india the myrrh and the frankincense sticks this is absolutely beautiful i'll make a video on how to use it you just take a little bit of this stuff and sprinkle it over a burning magical coal a mag magic coal that uh, that you know that round uh, you know block of coal which burns in instantly that is called as magic coal uh, in the you know uh, in here so we get we burn that coal and just sprinkle a little little bit of this bakhur over it and the, you know it bring it brings out so much joy out of the smell you know, just leave it in your room close all the doors and the windows and just open the cupboards let everything absorb that smell and it will be smelling uh, beautiful the whole day and now we are going to discuss about the various formulations uh, in detail so oil of oud or pure dahanal oud comes in a limited quantity uh, this is an example this is bakhur khas so bakhur as i told you is what we burn it's incense it's oud incense so this is a smokier version of uh, oud and this comes in a 3 ml this is a sample the bottle actual bottle looks something like this it is a smokier accord Uh, with the oud the 3 ml version there's only 3 ml of oil in this okay it is a concentrated oil perfume which comes for uh, about uh, $40 dollars or more than that just a 3 ml yes that is how you get your oud, uh, oud oils they are very expensive for a limited amount so this is one such variety smoky oud when you're looking for smoky oud this is what you're going to look for okay bakhur bakhur oud then you have something called as mukhallat oud so what is mukhallat oud mukhallat oud okay this is a bottle it is a genre it is a sub type of agarwood scent so mukhallat basically means mixed in arabic so it is a mixture of various ouds it is also a mixture of various other notes like uh, flowery notes of rose geranium jasmine and all that uh, turkish rose all that uh, exotic flowery material and it may also have hints of sandalwood or some other rosewood for example so this one begins uh, as a strong skanky indian assamese oud okay but it, uh, in about half an hour this is going to change into a beautiful bouquet of flowers especially containing rose and some other flowery ingredients and also sandalwood on your skin so the first half an hour you have to be really careful because this can uh you know upset a lot of people around you because it projects like hell just one spray or two sprays in, is enough to fill a whole huge room if you walk into a hall where some function when, when some social function is going on and if you have applied three to four sprays that's more than enough so the best way to use this is to spray it on your clothes and leave it overnight the next day when you wear it you are going to be shocked because that is something which starts with a dirty animal changes into a beautiful angel that's what it is then uh, there are also some other aspects about oud that i would like to share and that is where to get it so guys don't be fool don't be fool when people on the streets are trying to offer you oud chips for a really cheap price because this is not cheap the prices are very very expensive the price is really expensive and it's going up with time so be very careful where you buy your oud chips from okay when you're buying it for the incense purpose um, and i and i showed you you can go go in for the cheaper alternatives but from a retail store only and also i am going to talk about the nomenclature now the nomenclature basically depend on the geographical location so hindi oud when you see something called as hindi oud it is uh, hindi is derived from indus the indus valley civilization of uh, asia of uh, india which is the oldest oldest uh, civilized society in the world so in this hindi word is you know derived from that hindi basically means indian oud so when you are going to the market and somebody offers you hindi oud this is pure hindi oud 
this is your skanky animal like very very woody very pungent uh, you know something like civet the civety version of oud and this is indian assamese oud please be assured of that so the second one now is kambodi oud kambodi oud kambodi is, comes from cambodia this has more of a sweet uh, boozy uh, or incensey kind of a vibe to it uh, it is not uh, very skanky it is skanky but on a level of 10 if indian assamese oud were 10 out of 10 this would be somewhere around 5 out of 10 it settles down and it is not very long lasting as the indian oud but nevertheless it's a very very beautiful scent the third one is oud indonesian so indonesian oud, uh, uh, oud as i described is that greenish citrus citrusy kind of an oud uh, which is aromatic a beautiful blend and i think that is the most commonly used uh, oud in all the blends by master perfumers like mfk okay then roja Dov, then we have um, Sergio Momo, all these guys, they all these guys, they use that kind of a blend because that kind of oud blends in really nicely with the rest of the stuff. Then we also have oud from Burma, which is known as oud Burmi. Then we also have something called as oud Malay, which is Malai, which is from Malaysia. And uh, I am getting a bottle of that. Let me experience that, and I'm going to share with you ASAP. These are some th some things that I wanted to discuss uh, with you about oud. So now, who are the people basically, um, you know, uh, who are trying to hype this oud? Guys, actually, yes, 50% of the times it is more of, you know, a money thing when oud is put in a perfume. It's more to attract publicity. It's more to attract, uh, you know, customer base. A company like Paris, Perry Ellis has come out with oud, which sells for around 1000 rupees or 2000 rupees, something like that. You also have synthetic oud, which sells for about 300 rupees, 100 rupees on the streets. Guys, don't be fooled by it because there must be some magic in it for you know for it to be really expensive. They these synthetic oods just pick up those little nuances. They just put a little bit of indolic acid to give it that fecal smell in the Indian oud, and they'll call it Indian oud. It is not so cheap, my friends. Uh, it is really expensive, so please be careful. The actual oud lovers have you know have developed have a very seasoned nose who have you know gone from the basic perfumes into the realm of niche perfumery and then something beyond niche you know which is offered uh, by the western market so it is an acquired taste it will come with age if you're a 50 if you if you're a person who is in uh, still in the teens and in your 20s it is very difficult to appreciate the nuances the finer nuances of oud. it takes time my friends you have to uh, if you're visiting visiting dubai it will be a really nice thing to check out the souks or the markets out there i have never been never been to dubai but that is how people actually get to acquire or get to taste a lot of food and they get educated that i am going to uh, i am going to visit dubai very soon and i'll be getting a lot of stuff and i'll be making a video as well i'll try my best to you know uh, bring out to the world the finer nuances of food so that you know your food better I hope this video has helped all of you in making, you know, in educating at least a little bit before you go in for the blind buys because some of the ouds sometimes can be very uh, painful uh, buys because it comes really expensive and it might be a very, very deep challenge to actually love it. So age is a very important factor. The seasoned noses can appreciate or even if you're a younger person who is used to youth from your childhood days, it's not a very difficult thing for you. But yes, I will repeat Roja Dove's words again. If you ventured into the world of ouds, be it in a blend or be it just a pure, uh, you know, quality oud, you will be mesmerized by how it changes over the skin, the strong presence of that natural odor which you instantly fall in love with uh, after you're done with your basic perfumes. It is going to be, a, you know, something which you'll keep for all your life and as the uh, oud ages even in the bottles which you have it will become more and more serious and more and more lovable i hope this video has helped all of you i have uh, you know i have been glad to have ventured into this world because it was absolutely new to me a few years back but slowly i have learned my ways and so i decided to make a video which will help not just my own subscribers or the people who are regular on my channel but also to everybody who is interested in a bit of oud in this beautiful luxury which is more expensive than the gold take care guys if you like my videos there's lots and lots uh, which is coming up on my channel please hit the subscribe button and subscribe to my channel if you like the video please feel free 
to hit the like and please share your comments and please share your knowledge with me because I am still learning and would love to hear from you. I discuss with all my subscribers, with all my friends and keep learning every day. It's a challenge but I love it. Thank you guys. Take care. Bye.